neither system is gonna work well for you if you have a shitty socket. Pin or sleeve, which one is better? It's a very common question, but what are some other questions that we can be asking to get a little bit better insight into what system is gonna work best? But first of all, what is pin suspension? What is sleeve suspension? What is suspension? What we are talking about today and comparing are two ways for a prosthesis to stay on the limb for someone with a transtibial or below knee amputation. With either system, you're gonna start with a liner. For pin suspension, the liner is going to have a distal umbrella that a pin screws into. For sleeve suspension, the liner is just gonna have a round cushion bottom with no distal umbrella. For pin suspension, the pin clicks into a lock built into the socket. You then push the release button to remove the prosthesis. For sleeve suspension, there is a sleeve that goes about mid socket to upper thigh. There is also typically a one-way valve that lets air out as you push your limb into the socket. And once you get settled in, you can roll the sleeve up onto your thigh. The sleeve is gonna be similar material to the liner. And I think about them in kind of three broad categories. Ones that are a little bit lighter weight that have more stretch ones that are a little bit thicker and more heavy duty that have less stretch. And you're also gonna have ones that are pre-flexed at the knee. And some like this one from Alps is going to have fabric matrix that intentionally allows for less stretch in certain areas and more stretch in other areas such as around the knee. So which is better? Don't worry guys, I got you. We're not ending the video here. But let's ask some more questions. How important is knee range of motion to you? Are you routinely doing activities that require you to crouch or excessively bend your knee? You just wanna keep those things in mind because some of those activities are gonna be a little bit trickier with sleeve suspension and restricted range of motion at the knee. Sleeve suspension, it's also gonna be a little bit more maintenance. It's just another piece that you have to maintain that's gonna have to be replaced. In this video, I talk about when your sleeves need to get replaced, how to check to make sure you still have good suction, how often sleeves are replaced, and how often insurance provides new ones along with the cost if you're having to pay out of pocket and how to get access to those, along with, if you're doing it yourself, tips and tricks on how to switch out from an old sleeve to a new sleeve. A sleeve suspension system, it's pretty simple, but it is an added step when it comes to putting on your prosthesis compared to the pin. And it might be a little bit more difficult for people with arthritis or limited hand strength and or dexterity. And if you want a custom design on your socket, uh, just know that the sleeve is going to cover part of your socket and hide part of that design. So socks, most people using a prosthesis are gonna have to use socks at one time or another to maintain a well-fitting socket. So my question here is, are you someone that prefers to wear pants all the time? Because in that case, it might be easier to go with a pin system. You can just roll up the bottom of your pant leg, remove the prosthesis, throw on a sock and click back in. Versus if you have a sleeve suspension that comes all the way up to your thigh and you're wearing pants most of the time, then you're having to find somewhere, especially if they're tighter fitting pants, then you're having to find somewhere that you can basically undress that side so you can get to the top of your sleeve so you can roll that down so you can put on the sock and then put on, put the prosthesis back on and roll the sleeve back up. Now, when it comes to pin suspension systems, one thing that always comes up as part of the discussion is pissing. And so that's one thing with the pin system is what are the long-term effects of that pissing and how does it affect the distal tissue of the limb long-term. The pin system, again, the pin is going to click into that lock and then as you're taking a step, that pin is stuck in place, but you kind of have this almost milking effect as you're walking. 
that pissing effect can be reduced with a mindful uh, socket fit, preloading the tissue, and going with a liner such as the Alps liner that has these seams up the sides that's going to reduce how much of that vertical stretch and pissney that you're gonna get in the socket. For individuals that have maybe a longer residual limb or it's just difficult to bend over and or have you know weak hand strength or poor uh, thumb mobility, because you do have to be able to bend down, reach over and reach that uh, release button to be able to pull your leg out of the socket. And there are contraptions to make that a little bit easier, but those tend to be more of a pain than anything else. So as you can see, it is not so black and white and it does really depend on the individual and the type of activities that they're doing. There are some that tend to just stick to one system and that's all they do. And prosthetics is not a one size fit all. Most definitely not. Have that conversation with your process. Hopefully they're asking you these types of questions or at least, you know, give them this type of information so you can work as a team to make the best informed choice on your plan of care moving forward that's going to allow you to do the activities that you want to do. <sighs> Neither system is going to work well for you if you have a shitty socket. You really need to start with a well fitting socket. If you have a poor fitting socket or some other issues with your residual limb going on, neither system is gonna necessarily solve those problems for you. You really want to start with, make sure you're starting with a socket that fits well and is comfortable. It should not be, it's gonna be uncomfortable at times, but there should not be a consistent, constant pain when you're in your prosthesis. I'm sure there's other things that we can include in this conversation, so I would love for you to, uh, know in the comments you know what systems have you been in what was your experience what were some of your pros and cons and like always i wish you the very best on your journey and please reach out for any additional questions